need you to help us to keep it simple. How you can contribute to, to the work that we do is by making the data understandable so that, that we can translate it. Um, helping us to understand how the outcomes will benefit us because that's really the language that the other marketing folks speak. They, we speak about behaviors and what the consumer thinks. So moving away from just measurement and numbers to how, the, how it's changed people's behavior is important. Please understand your client's needs. Understand where we are in this journey and tailor your approach to us so that it's appropriate to where we are in our level of understanding. It's through this partnership and education and helping to educate us that we will become more uh, valuable uh, as clients to you. Measurement when done appropriately and correctly, framed in the right way, that shows clear deliverables that you can enact on, that you can make real and operational, is excellent. It should be part of your communications mix. But I think that's, and I'm drifting towards you, I think that's probably 35 to 38% of our job. The rest of it is still that art. It is still that find out what people are doing, go to as many events like this, talk to as many people, read as much as you can, travel around as much as you can, listen to the employees, listen to people out there, find out what the world is thinking, and then, good God, act like a human. Because the corporation is no different from the human, and if we behave honest, open, decent, authentic, then people will like the corporation. If you don't, you can spend all the money you like on, on measurement and advertising and marketing. It doesn't matter, Jack. And by the way, we'll never get on the C-suite anyway. Thank you. We don't speak your language. So I don't, when you, I see net effect, gross effect, blah, 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 I don't even know what that means. <laughs> So I've had my folks say, okay, that means PR recall, and that means that's how many people remembered they saw this. Okay, I get that. So help us with your language. And I think, you know, next time we have a PR conference, we're gonna find some keynote speakers from the audience here. So you can help us understand what we should be asking, what should we be telling us. It goes back to what I said to begin with. If you don't educate me, I can't educate anyone inside, and I'm the best bet to get to, so I can help you do your job better. Marguerite made a really interesting point, and I really do echo this, is that this, there's such a need for uncomplicated metrics because the people who are reading these are not experts. Um, I wouldn't even call myself an expert, but the guys who are reading this, certainly at ministerial level, probably have about 15 to 20 seconds to absorb any one piece of um, paper. So this would be like a slide. They will look at it. They will literally have seconds to absorb. So we really have to get that point across quickly. It needs to be simple, and it needs to really tell the story that we're trying to tell. Um, so if I do my job well, then this management information is used to help us be, um, well, to perform well, and to be resilient, and ultimately keep our ministers in number 10 and cabinet office happy, uh, because we can see clearly now. We have to change our way to measure to this 60, uh, 360 degrees uh, measurement system from the traditional media to the social media, observing the whole communication channels and taking into account the tone of voice that we receive from the media, but also which is the tone of voice of the, of the dialogue in the social networks uh, regarding the whole stakeholders. If we can measure that, probably we will be much more closer to assure that what we are doing in communication contributes clearly in the purchase funnel and that means in my, my uh, my point of view, that means to assure that PR function, communication function, is a revenue generator. What I need, and what every single one of our offices needs, is a way to convince our senior leadership that we add value, that this is important. So this is even like this isn't even showing the draft scorecard or like not even at that point. To start off with, like even just a, a standard presentation or a tailored presentation would be fantastic. But to show my bosses that if you don't do this, you're lagging behind and you are wasting money. I do think about measurement in two categories, input and impact. Um, and when I think about input, I think about it in terms of this is the data that helps me define the communication strategies and plans I need to engage in to make a difference and also helps me to get the necessary approvals, particularly the dollars and the investment I need from executives, that they will too are convinced that, that this particular activity will make a difference. On the impact side, this is really the proof 
the proof that we have indeed made that difference. So they go hand in hand, and I think David was covering that earlier. We just don't need measurement at the back end to say, yes, we did this. It is a critical driver of the decisions we make and, and strategies up front. Um, and, and why I want to share this with you is because at the end of the day, if there's any takeaway about our function, is that I want you to know that when I sit at a table, I want to be viewed as a business person first and a communications expert second. I can't be a business executive, be viewed as a business leader without all of you. What I think a communication professional 3.0, because that's also what we want to be, not only today, but also tomorrow we want to be in our job. We have to spend more time in thinking on the return on investment of our function. We have to demonstrate the added value, not of me as a person, but of the function, of the communication function. And we need to demonstrate to our business partners, up to the highest level, to the executive committee, what the company, or what the communications function actually is contributing to the company.